Hi, welcome to my quick, simple step-by-step -step guide to configuring a Virgin Hub 5X in mode M mode. This is almost mythical in its status in terms of people getting this working, but I'm hoping this guide will help you get your 5X in mode M mode. So let's get straight into it. Uh, the first thing, just again to repeat, this is for a Hub 5X. Um, these are used in Virgin Media, XGS, PON, fiber connected areas for broadband. It's not to be used for a Virgin Media Hub 3, 4, 5 in a coax area. To be honest, setting them in modern mode is much easier than this, so you wouldn't need this guide anyway. Uh, qu quick checklist though, you're going to need a 5X. How do you know you've got a 5X? Well, it'll have a 10 gig mark port on the back, but it'll also have a fiber connect at the back not a coax connector at the back you'll need an additional router like you want to use in place of the 5x you need the 5x admin password which is if you haven't changed it's printed on the barcode label you need the admin password of your new router and you're going to need a one gigabit capable cable that you're going to use to connect the two routers together you know 5e 6 7 cat cables you're going to need a bit of luck this isn't supported by virgin you know, some people get this working, some people don't. I tried six months ago, it didn't work for me. I tried again more recently and it worked. You know, I don't know if Virgin have changed something in that time or I just, you know, followed the steps differently. But it's been working for me flawlessly for the last couple of months uh, with multiple reboots and restarts and not had any issues since. So let's get into it. First thing, you're going to connect your new router to the 5X router. Uh, you need to connect ideally from the WAN port on your router to one of the three yellow LAN ports on the 5X. Don't plug into the 10 gigabits port on, on the Virgin Media because that won't work and it's not supported. Um, if you find in the next step you can't connect via your router to the 5X, then you might have to plug into the, one of the LAN ports on your router for now, but we will have to change that in a later step in this guide. Okay, make sure everything else is unplugged from the 5X. The only thing you want plugged in physically on, from a LAN cable perspective is the cable from your new router. Step three, I'm gonna log on to the admin page of the 5X, but via a device connected to your new router. Just make sure you can do that. Um, you see the password there, and so the URL address to log into the admin page, you know, 192.168.0.1. Um, again, the admin username and password printed on the barcode label on the 5X if you need to find it. Next, after you've logged in, we're gonna reset the 5X. So there's a red reset button underneath the 5X you can see in the photo there. Find a pen or a pen, hold it in for 10 seconds, let go and release it, and then that will reset. We just wanna make sure the 5X back to factory reset basics. Uh, then reconfigure the hub, you know, the welcome page you would have seen the very first time you used your 5X, just follow the basics, get it set up back to normal. Um, you should be able to do that from a device connected via your other router. If you can't, then plug directly into the 5X to do this. But once you've done that, unplug that cable. Remember, we only want one cable plugged into the 5X. Next step, just quick check on your other router. Now I've pasted in a snippet from one of the admin pages on my router, but every router is different. You know, yours is gonna look, look, look a lot different to that. But basically what you wanna do is find the one settings page on your router and make sure it's set to DHCP. You don't need any client or vendor class IDs or VLAN sends. It should just work out of the box. Well, that's what I found. And then just make sure you've saved that um, and you're ready for the next step which is to enable mode and mode back on the 5X. Uh, okay, next step, we're gonna go back on to the 5X and enable mode and mode. Now that menu is missing from the admin page. The only way you get to it is using the URL shown below on, on the bullet points, which is essentially the address before with the you know, question mark page equals mode and mode appended to it. You will then see this page that's shown in the screenshot. Click the enable modem mode tick box and hit apply changes. Reboot and wait. You know, the 5X is going to be going through that process. It can take a bit of time, so you do need to be patient. Five to ten minutes, let it reboot. Make sure at the time your other router, there was nothing else connected to it. 
The only thing you wanted connected to your other router was basically nothing. <laughs> you just want that router and nothing else talking to the 5X. Uh, you can then check if it's working. Log into the admin page on your new router. Look at the WAN page, look at the WAN IP address. If it starts 192, it hasn't worked properly. If it has, a, a, I don't know, an IP address on 89 dot something, which is an external class of IP addresses, then you're on to a winner and it has worked. But if it begins 192, it means your router is still getting its IP addresses from the 5X, which means DHCP is still working on the 5X, which means it's not in modem mode. So that's the kind of check to make sure this has worked properly or not. That's, that's it. You know, that is the process. It's fairly simple, but the order of events and make sure you don't have other devices connected to it is really important when you go through these steps. I so said, this isn't guaranteed. It's not supported. I mean, it's not supported by Virgin. I think the other thing, because we can't use the 10 gigs port, you know, you capped at one gig on those ports. You know, you will get 1.2 gigs off a of Virgin Media connection if you're on a one gig plan, but you won't benefit from that two extra 200 megabits when you're using it in modem mode. So the most you're going to get is one gigs. Um, you won't get the SAM no speed testing features because that's running on the 5X and we've kind of disabled all that. Um, and who knows, Virgin could make a change in the firmware in other settings and this could all break again, it's not assured. Um, I think the alternative to modem mode depends why you're doing this in the first place. If you were just trying to get better Wi-Fi and you were using other routers or a mesh system and you thought, well, I want to use them natively, I think your alternative is you can just put them in the access point mode, let them do the Wi-Fi, turn off Wi-Fi and the 5X, but then let the 5X still do all the routing and firewall and everything else that's that's still a good configuration. Um, depends why you want to use a different router in the first place. I think the other thing you can do if you want, you can put your router in the DMZ of the 5X. You run the risk there of hitting double NAT issues or some port forwarding issues, but it might be a configuration that works for you. So that, if this doesn't work, that's still something that you might want to consider. Uh, and thanks to Rooney, be UK on Reddit for finding and publishing this solution. You did it a while ago. I came across it in the Virgin Media subreddit on Reddit. So if you want to look at the guide and all of the comments, because you know some people get this working, some people don't, some people have had to do other things, just go on Reddit, search for Hub 5X work in modern mode. I've put the link in there um, if you need to find it that way. I hope this guide was useful. I say it worked for me. It's been great since I've done it. So I hope you get yours working too. Thank you.